So there's a rain and wind warning for this week, and I had a lot of plans to go out and do things, but I'm gonna have to stay home now. And right, no. Hello everyone, it's that time of week again where I come onto the screen and say, here's what I'm doing. So a uh, couple things. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have witnessed my journey through the roller coaster of NaNoWriMo. It usually is a roller coaster. Um, and as with most NaNoWriMo's I've been a part of, I bottomed out, bottom of the curve, <laughs> for uh, mid-month uh, word counts, and I missed a day even. Uh, I didn't write anything. So that's okay, because at that point I reassessed my goal. So instead of 50,000 words, which is the usual goal for NaNoWriMo, I decided that 20,000 words would be a lot more realistic for the project I was working on and the progress I'd made up to that point. However, I did have a very excellent day of writing a couple days ago where I wrote out the climax of book three and it just opened up so much of the book for me. I think I wrote like for three hours straight. I didn't even know time was passing and that that's always a good sign that I'm really into the flow and I'm hopefully writing good stuff. I mean, obviously it needs editing and cleaning up, but uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be really good and it's making me look forward to working on the rest of the book and uh, piecing all the random scenes and stream of consciousness stuff that I was writing out earlier in the month just to get some words out. So yeah, I think it's in a good spot and I'm excited for people to read it maybe early next year if I can uh, dedicate some more time to it. So it's really great working with Adventure Worlds Press because I know that if I get my book done that we can work on it together and it will be out pretty soon. We all read each other's stuff and give feedback and that's super helpful. That's really made me a better writer and I hope has helped my fellow authors at Adventure Worlds Press. Christian Lafayette has had some exciting news recently. He had a novella that got picked up and a novel as well and he's just been publishing short stories all over the place. So congratulations to Christian Lafayette, aka C.M. Forrest. So if you see me posting about either of those names, same person, and Ben Van Dongen, another Adventure Worlds Press author, is working on finishing up his next novella, which is really exciting because there's a character in it that I've wondered about for a long time and I want to see what happens and what his deal is. So keep an eye out for Ben's next novella coming out probably next year. Lots of stuff coming out next year uh, with Adventure Worlds Press, so that's exciting. And I'm excited to hopefully be a part of that if I can get my act together. You can see my, my air plant hanging over there by the window. I got an air plant and it's so cute. We named it Bebop. Because we watched Cowboy Bebop for the first time. Well, I did. Um, my husband had already seen it. But I love it and I think it's cool. And I'm sad that it ended <laughs> and that the live action version uh, leaves much to be desired when compared to the original show. But I understand it's a totally different medium and they have totally different reasons for making it and expectations for who's going to be watching it, maybe. I don't know. Um, but when you when you change mediums, you have to make big choices. That kind of came across in my watching of the first episode. <laughs> I enjoyed it for like the first 20 minutes. I thought it was great. But then they got into stuff that was from the original animated episodes. And I just got kind of mad because I'm like, why would you rehash this? Why would you like make something new? Just I, I want to see that more. Just people making new things, not depending on these long running series or nostalgia or like an established fan base. And I know that for for producers, that's that's a big, big draw because you have a guaranteed audience already. Um, but sometimes I think it puts out art that isn't as good as as free and creative and willing to take risks. And I'm not like a YouTube critic or anything, so I'm not gonna make like a 20 to 20 minute to 10 hour video about, you know, the history of um, franchises or anything like that. Because lots of other people are doing it and they're doing it way better than I would do. Um, I love film and I love storytelling through visual mediums. I think it's really interesting and I would love to make more films one day uh, or be involved in them. But uh, yeah, for now I'm pretty content just writing and working on that and focusing on that. Um, also, it's the holidays. And if you want to buy books for people, books for friends, books for family, books for people you kind of know, but don't really know what to get them, but you're expected to get them something. Uh, gift giving is so weird around the holidays. Like, 
I love giving gifts and I love receiving them, but I know that there's so much pressure to like be consumers and buy things and, you know, give people things that they probably don't want or need. <laughs> um, because it's about generosity this season and I love that about the holidays. I love that about, the, about watching a Christmas carol or, um, you know, walking down the street and all the lights are up and there's music playing and yeah. So if you want to be generous to people and also support some local creators and artists and writers, uh, why not get them some books or get them something handmade because that's, that's cool and definitely puts back into the community. And I'm not saying that to say you should buy my books to be a good person. No, uh, if you want to, I mean, I'm happy about that because it means that I have some money that I can live with and maybe buy a hot chocolate with, I don't know. My needs are very small. <laughs> so if you want to support the writing I'm doing, I have The Patch Project and A Place That Used To Be, two post-apocalyptic novels uh, available. And I also have a coffee page, which I'll link below uh, if you want to send a couple bucks my way, buy some, buy some coffee uh, so I can keep caffeinated and keep writing and hopefully finish this book by the end of the year. And if you want to also support a local business, um, I believe in Windsor, Ontario, Bibli Oasis and Juniper Books still have copies of my novels. And if you're in the Halifax Regional Municipality, in Dartmouth specifically, Dartmouth Chapters in the Dartmouth Book Exchange also have copies of both my books as of probably this Thursday. Uh, so if, if you want to support a local business while you're also uh, finding a book for a friend, definitely check those places out. So that's pretty much what's going on this week. Oh, and I also wanted to thank everyone who came to the craft fair at North Woodside Community Center last weekend. It was a great time. I got rained on on my way over. Uh, so I had like this idea in my mind that I could just go there without wearing a rain jacket. And that was foolish because I was soaked by the time I got there. It was very embarrassing because I had to show them my proof of vaccination. And I was just like dripping everywhere. And like, I had to like dig through my bag and yeah, it was just, but they were very kind and uh, they made me feel welcome. And I was able to sit at a table and, and meet some folks and talk to them about books. Yeah, it's a good time. I hope I can do more events next year. So now you know all my plans for 2022, finish my novel, get it published. Hopefully uh, I'm still gonna look for agents and stuff. Um, maybe look into more publishers that I could send books to um, and maybe start something new. You never know. The new year has many things in store that we cannot know and hopefully they're all good. And I will probably be doing another post before the end of the year, but until then, have a great time um, as winter approaches and the snow falls and it will look so pretty. I, I'm a fan of snow. I'm sorry if you're not. Um, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. So I knew I would forget something and I did. I forgot that I have a special announcement coming up this Friday. Um, it'll be on my Facebook and my Instagram and my blog, um, which I've all linked below. So if you wanna check out the special announcement around Friday afternoon sometime, it's a special offer for anyone who buys a copy of A Place That Used To Be, the second book in my series um, from Friday until January 5th, which is my birthday. Yeah, and uh, that's all. So now I'm leaving for real. <laughs> Bye.